So it's time now to have a look at uh, some example questions so you can really decide for yourself whether you understand Pythagoras' theorem, for, uh, yes or no. Yeah? The question is, is to find, uh, to calculate the missing lengths um, and if you have a non-exact answer to three significant figures. All right? So have a go and I will see you when you are finished. So hopefully you've tried it yourself. Yeah? So I'm going to do this relatively quickly um, and always, yeah, even myself, and I'm a teacher, so I really, I strongly suggest you do the same. You're going to start with a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Write down the theorem, yeah? But actually, I should have said, even before writing down the theorem, you should tell yourself or ask yourself, we're looking for a length in a right angle triangle. Is it Pythagoras I can use? Yes, absolutely, yeah, because indeed it is a right angle triangle and we're calculating a length. Yeah, so a squared plus b squared equals c squared equals and then you take a moment to decide which side is the hypotenuse yeah it's essential that you assign the hypotenuse to the correct side because that is your c and the hypotenuse is that length across a 90 degree angle so in the that is the x so x squared and that is 8 squared plus 6 squared yeah that doesn't really matter 6 squared plus 8 squared 8 squared plus 6 squared and then you start working that out your calculator can help you with that if necessary but I hope uh, it's not necessary. Yeah, because 8 squared is 64, and 6 times 6 is 36. And if you add that, that will be 100. Now, I know that the hypotenuse is the longer side in a right angle triangle, but it's not 100. I still have to do the square root, then. Some students forget that. Yeah, but 100 doesn't make sense, does it? So it's 10 units, yeah, centimeters, meters, millimeters, whatever they give, it is 10, okay? So I'll put a little box around that, the answer is 10, okay? Now, put a line here. Going a little bit quicker now, perhaps we're gonna skip one or two of these steps, except the most important one, of course, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. The hypotenuse, indeed, is my y, so I'm gonna say y squared and seven squared plus three squared, yeah, are my a's and b's. Okay, 7 squared, that will be 49. 3 squared is 9, equals my y squared. And 49 plus 9, uh, that will be 58, equals y squared. Now, it's not 58 units. Yes, it is the longest side. Please don't forget to square root that, because it's y squared. So y equals the square root of 58. Now, 58, let me see. I need a calculator for that. 58 equals... And you get all sorts of decimals, 7.61577, yeah. But to three significant figures, yeah, one, two, three, it's a one. So it's going to stay a one or it goes up to a two, and that depends on the next one. That's a five, so it's going to be 7.62, all right. Make sure you know how to round it, so important. You pretty much have to do that for every question anyway, okay. Put a little bit of a line there. Last question. Right angle triangle. However, I see now I forgot to give you that sign, but indeed a right angle triangle. Trying to calculate a length, so Pythagoras it is. I'm going to do it in red because my blue is almost finished. So a squared, well my red is two, plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, start writing that one down. Okay, and then you take a moment to think which one is my hypotenuse. Ah, now my hypotenuse is 12, so 12 squared, yeah? So it not necessarily means that you're unknown, that the length you're trying to calculate is your hypotenuse. No, absolutely not. It's, it's very normal that your hypotenuse, your C, is one of the lengths they give to you, yeah? It's nothing to feel worried about. Now it becomes A squared as a 5 squared plus A squared, or perhaps you had A squared plus 5 squared equals 12 squared. Fantastic. 25, 5 squared plus, yeah, a squared, I don't know, and 12 squared is 144. Now I'm going to continue here because now you have to rearrange this equation a little bit. So a squared is the same as 144 minus 25, yeah. So a squared is, how much is that, 144 minus 25, 119, and the square root of 119 equals now, before I type that in, 
Why do I know that my answer is going to be less than 12? I know my answer is going to be less than 12. Why do I know that? Because indeed the hypotenuse is always the longer side in a right angle triangle. Eh? It's across a 90 degree angle, the longer side. So anything more than 12, I've made a small error. I make sure I correct it. Um, not the square root of 12, the square root of 119 equals and because I don't have any space left, I'm going to correct it to three significant figures and that will be 10.9 three significant figures because it's 10.9087 and a lot more 10.9 units, fantastic, less than 12 exactly what I expected, okay? Pythagoras theorem, calculating, finding lengths in right angle triangles. I hope that was useful, okay? Now, um, we have some uh, more uh, things we can use in right angle triangles, which we call trigonometry, okay? Hope to see you there. See you later, have a good day.